Hi everyone, this is Brooke Skidmore with Awaken Arise and today is Monday, April 27th and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to combine our Monday sport and exercise psychology tip with an actual workout. I've had several requests to do more workouts, different workouts. People are ready and um, looking for something new and different. So I'll start with our quick little tip and then we'll do an actual full workout together today. Um, last week we talked about consistency, the, important of, the importance of being consistent in our workouts and so today I just kind of wanted to follow up with that we know it's important to stay regular with our workouts but how how do we do that so what are some kind of tried and true things that people have found that help them to stay motivated to stay excited to work out day after day and so I'm just gonna share a few of those things we've actually talked about a few of these things in the past so just to kind of highlight some of those things um, one of those things that helps us stay consistent is to maybe write it in your schedule like it's an actual appointment that you're trying to keep with yourself and then respect yourself enough to keep that appointment um, instead of just blowing it off so write it down uh, pick a time in your day tomorrow write it in your planner um, another thing you might do is actually like treat yourself to new workout gear this is actually a gift something exciting um, to new to work out in a gift to myself from myself and so sometimes when you have something new to work out and it gets us excited to put it on um, you might also uh, consider having a plan we've talked about this before too instead of just saying okay I'm gonna try to work out today well what does that mean what is it gonna look like maybe you actually choose a workout video for Tuesday or maybe you actually write it down or plan a route for your bike ride just have some sort of plan we're more likely to do it if we know what's going to happen and how to prepare for it Speaking of preparing, another tip that a lot of people find helpful is to just put your shoes on and tie them up. If you're not really feeling motivated to work out today, just try it. Just put on your shoes, tie them up. Often once our shoes are on, we feel like, okay, I might as well go for a walk or go for a run. So try that. Just put your shoes on, tie them up, and then see what happens next. Um, these last few tips are things that are actually we're incorporating today into this workout. We've talked about having a workout buddy and today, special treat, I brought a workout buddy for us today. This, as you remember, is my nephew. Nephews and nieces don't, or nephews and aunts don't shake hands, they, they hug. This is Maxwell and he's going to help me demonstrate our workout today. Um, just a heads up all you high school girls out there, Maxwell has a girlfriend currently so you need to just back off of him, okay, but he's excited and happy to be here. So having a workout buddy can help us to stay motivated and um, accountable to, to working out. Um, also music can be a super helpful motivator and so today we're going to try to incorporate the music into our workout. And then finally, Last week, our word of the week was consistent, right? So maybe this week, the word of the week is variety. As humans, we need kind of a balance of both like comfort, familiarity, stability, but we also need novelty. We need adventure. We need a, a new challenge. And so what does that look like for you in your workouts? Do you have both? Do you have something that's kind of consistent, but also something that's new and different? So today we're going to incorporate that, something new, something different, a little variety. So without further delay, our workout today is called a flex and stretch. We're going to start with a very brief warm up together. Every exercise or every round that we do is going to be set to one song. So you know that we're going to keep going until the end of that song. We're going to use the power and the motivation of music to help us today. So you don't need anything, any extra weights. We will use a chair. Hopefully you have a chair in your house um, and maybe a mat if you'd like it. Otherwise, just your body for this entire workout. So we'll start with the flex. That's about 30, 35 minutes of um, resistance training, just our body weight, and then finish with a nice stretch at the very end. You know the routine. If you need a break at any time, take a break, grab a drink, um, and then join back with us. So let's get this going. Hopefully you can hear these jams. We're gonna start with those feet about hip width apart. And turn down the music. And then we're gonna go back to those feet about hip width apart. Knees nice and soft. Belly button is pulled in, pelvis is tucked under. Let's just start with a deep breath up. 
and exhale, let it out. Let's do that one more time, deep breath up. This time hold, grab onto that left wrist, lateral fold to the side. Good, inhale back up to the sky, switch hands, lateral fold to the right, left. Good, inhale back up to the sky, sit the hips down, thumbs come up in front and little pulses, hold it right here. Go ahead and check out your knees. They should be tracking right in line with your toes. You should be able to lift up your big toes. Your weight is back into the heels. Driving down into the ground through the heels. Pulsing for four. Three more, here's three, two, and one. Hold at the bottom. We're gonna take that right hand, palm on the inside of the knee. Left arm opens, rotate back, gaze at that back hand, and bring it back forward, switching sides. Left palm on the inside, right arm open and reach. Good, and bring it back to the front. Hands come onto the thighs, and cat cow standing. So round the spine, tuck the chin into the chest, tuck the pelt, tailbone under, and then bring it back out. Head comes forward. One more time, round it out. Good, and bring it back to the front. Release those hands back to the front, and let's come back to our pulses. Stay low, quads are starting to wake up. Good, four more pulses. Four, three, two, pause, hold. Bring the hands all the way down to the floor. Plank position. From here, we're gonna bring that right hand in between, or right leg in between the hands. Float the arms up in front. Hold it low, little pulses from here. My chest is lifted, my pelvis is vertical here, so I'm not leaning forward, I'm just nice and tall. Hold here for four, three, two, pause, hold. Take that left hand on your inseam, twist, right hand to the sky, gaze upward at that hand. Good, bring that top hand down. Plank position, swing the right foot back. Left foot comes in the middle of those hands. Float the fingertips back up to the sky. Hold it here. Back to those pulses. Pulses low. Keep pulsing. Remember, we're keeping the chest lifted here, so I'm not folding forward. I'm just nice and tall. Keep pulsing here for four, three, Two, bring the hands down, right palm on your inseam, twist, gazing up at the left hand. Top hand comes down, back to plank position. Bring that left foot to the back. Now inchworms, walking those baby steps in, and then baby steps to get back out. Good, one more time, baby steps in. And one more time, baby steps, walk it out. Now feet stay, hands, baby hands in, and walk those baby hands back out. And pause, walk the feet all the way in, let's stand it up, awesome job. Now we're ready to go, shake the arms out, roll the shoulders to the back. All right, our next round here is gonna be a combination of our upper and lower body. Feet back to about hip width apart here, knees start nice and soft. We're gonna start by rolling down from the wall. Remember our roll downs. We don't just stick the butt out. We start nice and tall and then roll down from there. Here we go. Tuck that chin to your chest. Peel your spine away from the wall. When you get close to the ground, palms come down to the ground. High plank. Good, from here, we're gonna take that right foot. Right foot comes between the hands. Now here we go, press into that right heel, float the arms up in front, hold, hold it here. Now that front knee is bent, so I'm not just kind of standing here nice and easy, nice and tall, you should be feeling the load already in that right leg. Front knee is bent, that back knee is bent just a little bit too. Let's hold, little pulses for eight, seven, six, Here's four, three, two, and hold, pause, hold. We're gonna take that left arm, left arm open to the side, and bring it back, right arm. Good, keep it going, keep it going with the arms. 
Yes, that right leg is still on. It should be talking loud by now. Now left arm, open with the head. Let your head follow. Good, bring it back. Right arm. Let's do one more big, big rotation. Good, right arm. Bring it, hold. Hold it here, let's come back to our pulses. Same leg for eight, seven, six, four more, four, three, two, pause, hold. Can you bend your knees just a little bit more? Yes, we can, and hold, good. Float both arms up to the sky, hold it right there. Now left arm comes down and up, all the way back, all the way back up. Right arm, swing it back. Bring it all the way up, left arm. No more twisting now with the upper body, just the arms. Good, now bring both arms back down in front. Hold it here. Can you bend that front knee a little more? Try it. Seven, six, five, little lower. Three, two, pause. Float both hands all the way back down. Plank position, hold it right here. Now we're going into our three count push-ups next. Maxwell is going to demonstrate on his knees. I'm going to stay on the toes. I'll face this way so you can see. So set yourself up for push-ups. From here, we're coming down for three, up for one. Here's three, two, one. Push-up hold again. Three, two, one. Push-up hold. Two more. Three, two, one. Push-up hold. Last one. Two, three. Hold. Here. Now with that left arm, left arm comes up to the sky. Side plank hold. Same left arm down and under. Back up to the sky. One more time, down and under. Back up to the sky. Here we go. Both hands back down. Push up. Here's three, two, one. All the way up. Again, three, two, one, and up. Two more, three, two, one, and up. Last one, three, two, one, hold. Right arm, rotate up to the sky. Take that hand down and under, all the way back up. One more time, down and under. Good, all the way up and hold. Now bring both arms back down. Let's finish with two more push-ups. Here we go, get ready. Down for three, two, one, all the way up, last one, three, two, one, pause, hold, hold it at the top, your high plank, let's switch legs, we're going to swing that left leg all the way through, good, from here, float both arms back up in front and hold, hold it right here, set yourself back up again, give the arms a little break, just our legs now. That front knee is bent, back knee is bent a little bit too. Now let's add our pulses. Good, staying nice and tall here. Now challenge yourself. You know what this feels like from our other side. Can you sit a little bit lower? Challenge your depth here. Let's pulse for eight more here. Here's eight, seven, six, four more, four, three, Two, right arm open to the side. Good, bring it back in. Left arm only, just the arm. Good again, right arm open. Yes, the left leg is still on. Let's go two more, each side. Are you breathing? Keep breathing here, one more each. Really driving into that left heel. Now we're gonna open again, let your head come with you. Open big. Other side. One more each. Right arm open. Good. Left arm. Back to the front. Hold pulses. Eight, seven, six, four more. Four, three, two. Pause. Hold. Here we go. Right arm floated up to the sky. All the way back. All the way back down. Bring it all the way back up. Left arm all the way up. And swing it to the back. Nice, right arm again, here's right, and swing it back. One more time, left arm. Good, back to the front, let's finish with those pulses. Here we go, eight, seven, 
If this leg is not talking loud, sit a little bit lower. Keep pulsing. Three, one more set. Eight, seven, little lower. Yes, we can. For four, three, two, pause, hold. Both arms, bring them back down. Frame that front foot. Swing that left foot to the back. Now we're going back to our push-ups. This set's gonna look a little bit different. Again, you choose on your toes or on your knees. Down for three, here we go. Here's three, two, one. All the way up, hold and rotate to the sky. Side plank. Bring it all the way back down. Push up again here. Here we go for three, two, slow. And all the way up, left arm to the sky. Good, let's do one more. One more each side. Here we go, down for three, two, one. All the way up, rotate, right arm to the sky. Good, here we go, bring it down. Last three, two, one. Push it up, left arm open. And bring it back down. Let's walk the feet in. You guys are wondering, how long is this song? I chose a long song on purpose. We're gonna finish with one last set of single leg push-ups. Maxwell's gonna demonstrate both legs. So Maxwell's gonna keep both feet on the floor. I'm gonna demonstrate with single leg. If you're choosing both legs, your feet are about hip width apart. If you're choosing single leg, left toes come to the back. All of us, let's inhale to lengthen nice and tall. Exhale, nod the chin, start to peel. Single leg people, let that left leg come up as you come down. Maxwell, you're both feet down. So you come down both hands. Now let's walk the hands out. One, two, three, four. We're going back to our push-ups. You're either on your toes or your knees like Maxwell or single leg up. Let's try it. Down for three, two, one. Exhale, push. Down, two, three. Exhale, push. Last one. Two, three, and push, hold. Single leg people, kick that left leg straight up as you walk the hands back. Maxwell's gonna walk the hands back too. Try coming up on that single leg. Good, and walk the feet out, nice job. If you did both feet down, you're doing the exact same thing. If you did single leg like me, let's switch sides. Left foot down, right toes to the back. Last set of push-ups, end on a good set here. Inhale to lengthen nice and tall, Maxwell. And as you exhale, roll it down. Oh shoot, we're running out of song. We needed a longer song, you guys. Walk the hands out. Here we go, down for three, two, one. Exhale, push, down for three, two. Exhale, push, last one, three, two. Exhale, push. Walk the hands back. Let that leg come up with you. Trust the left leg as you roll it up. Woo! <laughs> Maxwell didn't know what he signed up for today. Nice work, you guys. Nice work, Maxwell. Grab a drink if you need it. We're moving on to our next song, next, uh, next round. Grab your mat if you'd like it. Maxwell, you can grab your mat. I'll go in front and you can go behind. We're going to be on our backs here. Next song is for our hamstrings, glutes, low back. Max, if you want to bring your feet close to me. Woo. So go ahead, bend the knees. Come all the way down onto your back. Arms long by your sides. And from here, walk those heels in just a little bit closer to your rear end. If you want an extra challenge, take those hands, fingertips up to the sky. I'll demonstrate hands up. Maxwell's gonna demonstrate his hands down. Now we're gonna press into both heels, lifting the hips up for two and down for two. Here we go, up, two, slow, down for two. One more, here's up, two, down and down. Now singles, up and down, all the way up and down. Two more, here's two. Last one, up and hold, hold it here. Now you can either stay with both feet down or take that right leg straight up to the sky, flex at the ankle. Now back to our single hips all the way down. Here's down, all the way up, down, all the way up. Two more, here's two. Good, up and hold, hold it here, pulses. 
seven, six, little higher. Make a footprint on the ceiling. Here's two, up and hold. Hold it right here. We're gonna take that right heel down and back up. One more slow, down. Good, little bit faster here. Here's down and up, down. Two more, just like that. Here's down and up. Last one, hold it here, pulses to finish. Seven, six, little bit higher hips for four, three, two. Pause, bend the knee, switch sides. Left foot comes up, long leg, flex at the ankle. Down, slow, here we go. Here's down and up. Two more, just like that. Last one, up and hold. Hold it here, little pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Hold it at the top, slow down. Heel comes down, slow back up. One more slow. Back up, hold here. Now faster down. Here's down and up. Down, two more like that. Down, back up, down, and hold. Last pulses, seven, six, five. Little bit higher, last three, two, one. Bend the knee, let the hips come down. Whoo, grab behind your right thigh, roll yourself up. Nice job. Let's roll it over onto your belly. We're on the mat, we're gonna stay on the mat for a little bit. Long legs behind, feet about hip width apart. Let's take those arms out long in front. Eyes are focused down, noses pointed down. Now keep the toes down. We're gonna lift both arms up and reach with the arms. Here we go, here's reach, tap down. Reach, toenails stay down. Reach and down, four more, four and three. Good, two, and one, pause, hold. Palms stay down, super glue your palms to the floor. Just legs, here we go, lifting legs. Lift, tap down, lift, reach, tap down. We have four more legs, four, and three, two. Now your choice, you can either stick with both arms, both legs, or or sorry, add both arms, both legs together. Here we go, let's do it. Lifting, reach, tap down, reach, tap down. Last four, three, here's two. Last one, up and hold, hold it here. Both arms, both legs, let's add our flutter kicks, arms and legs. Notice Maxwell is trying to do it as big as he can. Keep going, Maxwell. Make him big, make him bigger. Good, last four. Keep it going for three, two. Now pause, hold, arms and legs. We're gonna open arms and legs like snow angels and then back together. I'm gonna give Maxwell some space here. Keep your snow angels going, open, close. Let's go four more snow angels. This is like a snow angel, but face down in the snow. Two more here. Last one, open. Now close it up. Reach a little bit higher, hold. And release it down, nice job. Hinge it back into a child's pose. Just release it here. And then roll it up, nice job. All right, while we're on the mat, let's come into our side, um, our side kneeling position. Maxwell's gonna demonstrate what I'm gonna do on the floor. He's gonna be lying down on his bottom arm. So if that's your choice, feel free to do exactly what we're doing on the floor. So Maxwell's gonna be here. Your head is resting on your biceps. That's level one. Level two is gonna be kneeling on your knees. I guess that's how you kneel, on your knees. So my knees are right underneath my hips. Maxwell's body is in one straight line. He's as straight as possible, good. If you're kneeling, you're gonna take that right hand, cartwheel it down, left leg comes straight out, hand comes on top of your hip, push the hips forward. Whether you're on the floor or kneeling, your hips are not behind, they're pushed. 
your top or your bottom hand, wrist right under the shoulder. I think we're ready. Belly button pulled in. We're gonna take that top leg up to about parallel to the ground and tap it down for eight. And up, slow, seven. Good, here's six. Notice I'm not sinking into this shoulder. I'm not sinking into the hip. Everything else is still and steady. Here's three. Good, here's two. Last one, now bring it up again and hold. Hold it right here, toes are pointed. Let's add our little pulses for eight and seven, six, four more, here's four and three, two, pause, hold the leg up. Now with that top leg, we're gonna start to draw some circles. If you're kneeling like me, let's take that top hand up to the sky. Three more, here's three. Two, one, reverse your circles. Here's eight and seven, six, four more. Here's four, three, two, pause, hold. If that leg is starting to fall, bring it up. Hold it right there. We're going to bend the knee, extend, bend, extend. Good. Let's go four more, just like that. Last four. Slow, and three, good, here's two. Last one, this is it, out and hold, last pulses for eight, and seven, six. Can you come up a little bit higher for four, and three, two, release it down, whoo, nice job. Let's do a quick stretch before we switch sides. Take that left leg across your opposite knee, figure four seated here. If you need to, scoot your hips a little closer to that front heel. That should feel good, stretching through the hips. All right, let's do it. We know what we gotta do. You're either back to kneeling like me or like Maxwell, switching sides. Maxwell, scooch this way so they can see your cute face. If you're kneeling, feet or knees again, right underneath your hips. Take that left hand, cartwheel it down. Right leg goes out to the side. If you're like Maxwell, you're straight as you can be. Long line, you're on a balance beam. Otherwise, from here, top hand is on your hip. Belly button pulls in, hips go forward. Even for you on the ground, push the hips forward. Top leg, bring it up, hold. And taps down, here we go, here's eight. Six more. At no time do we let ourselves sink or push the booty to the back. Everything stays stable. You're like a statue. The only thing is moving is your leg. Last one, up and hold. Hold here and pulses. Four more, here's four and three, two. Pause, hold right there. We're gonna draw some circles with those top toes. Draw your circles. Keep the leg high, keep it parallel. Three more, three, two, one. Reverse your circles. Don't forget the back side of your circle. Big circles to the back. Two more, here's two. And hold, hold it at the top, let's bend the knee. Here's bend, extend, good. Bend, and long, and long. Good, sometimes we think we're long, but we're not all the way. So really reach with the leg, three. Nice, here's two. Last one, out and hold. Here we go, finishing with our pulses, high as you can for eight. Top hand goes up. Little higher to finish, yes, for three, two, one, let it go. Awesome job, we did it. Let's do another figure four, have a seat. Right leg, cross it over. Sit wherever you need to sit here so you're feeling that opening in your right hip. This is the reward after all that hard work. But we're not done yet. Don't get too comfortable yet. We have two more rounds, two more sets. Good, go ahead and release that leg. Let's do one last stretch while we're here. Soles of the feet together, let the knees come out to the sides. Just flap the knees like a butterfly. 
We're gonna give our legs a nice break. Our next set is for our shoulders. Our last song will be on the floor for our abs, or abes as Matt so likes to say. So go ahead and stand it all the way up. Again, just our body weight. That's all we need for this last set for our upper body. Feet are about hip width apart, knees nice and soft. We're gonna start with those arms out into a T. The goal for this next round is to not let the arms break parallel. Try to keep the arms right at parallel. From here, if your knees are locked out, soften them. Knees are soft, belly button is pulled in. Let's start pulsing the arms. Good, nothing else is moving on the bottom really, so I'm not bouncing from my knees, it's just arms. Let's keep pulsing arms for eight, seven, six, four more, here's four, three, palms go up, keep pulsing. As you're here, I want you to think about reaching with the arms. So I'm not just kind of flopping my arms, I'm actively reaching long arms. Eight, seven, six, five, here's four, three, two, palms forward, pulse it forward. Good. Is your belly button still pulled in? Are you still breathing? Keep pulsing forward. Last eight, seven, six, four more, four, three, palms go back, pulses back. Good. Remember our goal is this whole song. This whole song is dedicated to shoulders. So keep those arms elevated. Keep them up. Yes, you can, Maxwell. Here's eight, seven, six, Four more, four, three, two, palms down. You're holding on to two doorknobs. Twist those doorknobs side to side for eight, seven, six. Keep reaching arms. Four, three, two, and one. Pause, hold. Bend the elbows, palms to the front. Let's raise the roof for eight and down. Good, seven. Here's six. You got it. Four more here. Here's four and three, last two. Let's stay in those field goal post arms, elbows in and out, good, in and out. Belly button is still in, you're still tall. Four more elbows, elbows kiss in the front. Here's three, and open, two. Last one, open here, let's combine those two. Here we go, raise the roof, bring it down, elbows in and open, raise and down. In and open, you got it. Raise and down, kiss in the middle, open. <clears throat> Here's in and open, last two, just two more of those. In and out, last one up, down, in and hold. We're so close, I promise. Reach those arms back out long. Let's come back to our pulses for eight, seven, six, four more, four, Three, two, palms go up. Good, eight, seven, six, four more here. Here's four, three, two, palms forward. Eight, seven, six, are you still parallel? Bring those arms up just a little bit more. Palms back, here's eight, seven. Yes, you can, Maxwell. Getting ready for sophomore year. Here we go, last two, palms down. Can you hold to finish? Let's try it. We're gonna 